Hello, right here I have a sleep, I believe it's a sleep number. Yeah, it's a sleep number uh, pump. But the problem I'm having is it doesn't pump anymore. The, and once we then tried to deflate it, it didn't. So here's the uh, model number on this one. It's uh, up in here. Uh, UFCS 4-2. And uh, I guess they're saying, you know, like 400 bucks. People were saying that these cost. I couldn't hardly find I couldn't find it at all, actually. And then right now, due to the pandemic, and also the hurricane in New Orleans, sleep number isn't really answering its phone much down there. Just to, just to say, be patient. So, we got a deflated air mattress, trying to figure out how we can get it up quickly. These hoses here, though, I took off. Um, I took this apart already. There's, uh, I don't know, six or seven screws on the bottom here. And then I just pulled out the uh, hoses out of them. So anyway, the reason I took these hoses is just to get the uh, diameter, and that's a 3 8 inch hose. Um, the pressure here is pretty low that these things can pump up to. It's less than 1 pound, 1 psi uh, at max. So you need to have a special gauge if you want to make something. So then over here is my kludge that I'm going to use. I got these... Uh, Final tubing that they're 45 psi, 10 feet, and a hardware store. These are the fittings that I took off of these hoses here. Put them in hot water to heat up the hose, and then uh, I was able to wiggle them loose. So those are the adapters for the bed, the air mattresses on the bed. And these I got, these 3 8 by 1 quarter inch. Um, I got those, I think they call it barred, to uh, hose barbie yeah, and nylon it says on there. So anyway, that's going to go on the the other end of these hoses. Then I got T's in here, and the reason for the T is I don't necessarily need a T, and then I had to get a plug right now, but I was going to put one a gauge on um, those ones that are I mean, for to measure one PSI, I think they're like a water gauge, water fill that is, and I think it's 0 to 30 CW I think they call it, and that's what I'm going to look for and uh, substitute that. So these are quarter inch T's. And then this is just a, a plug for that. And then down here I have one quarter inch to a one eighth inch adapter. And then on here these are Schrader valves and I'm going to use these as my valves and then I can just hook it up to um, any kind of a you know basically your tire pumps in your cars or whatever. And, you know a portable ones that you may have in your car. And that's going to be my pump. So I'm going to be able to, you can thread it on the inside here, the Schrader valve is, and there's an adapter. And then that adapter is why I believe it's going to be 1 8 inch, one eighth inch that I'm going to insert into there. So that's the idea of getting this up and running pretty quickly. Um, I won't know the pressure until I get the gauge, but right now we're just going to do it to fail and see how this works. Okay, one thing I noticed I forgot to mention is though this is threaded, it's got this on here, so I'm going to have to actually cut this off so that I, I just want to use these threads here, so that's the Schrader valve there that I'm going to try out and see if this works or not. Okay. Okay, well, I did grind these off, as you can see, with a 4-inch cutting wheel. And, um, when I inserted it into this adapter, it's really close, but the threads just don't quite match up to the 1 8 inch. Uh, so, I came up with a different idea. It just so happens, as you can see, that inserts in there pretty good. And then um, I'm going to put a little hose clamp also on the end of these. So I'll cut a small piece of hose there, and then I had to buy two more of these to put into the T. Uh, the quarter inch T so anyway so I got to get I got two extra of these and these I won't be using since it doesn't quite thread I was hoping it would but uh, it did not so I was thinking they were 1 8 inch but the threading's just a little different so I just wanted to share that and working on the next part of this okay here's my quick fix trying to get this sleep number one bed up and running 
that went in pretty good the uh, after I cut it and I put a clamp on it I don't know if you really need this clamp but I did it for extra insurance on on this guy here and um, here's these guys here and again the plug is for later it's gonna take a while to to get the actual uh, gauge that I'm looking for. You don't need to do that, but I just kind of count a curiosity. Then the rest of that I stuck to this thing. Uh, and that's the adapter that came with the sleep number one bed that goes to the air mattress. So anyway, all I'm going to do now is just get a... I can get all different options here. I can bring in a tank that's got some, ga or, uh, some air in it and just quickly uh, add it to a small tank that is, or I can use a little tire, um, like a tire pump, portable tire pump, battery powered. All right, that should do it, and uh, get this bed back up and running. Okay, I ended up using this air tank here, and I had to fill it up about three times, and about 80 psi is what I had in there, and then I uh, put it in the bed, and that was it. So it didn't take very long, and that mattress is up and running again, and. Um, don't have to wait for a pump or anything right now and we don't change it around a lot so that's it'll until I get the gauges I can tell how much it leaks so that'll be something I'll add later okay I got one of these gauges I'm gonna try out it's a uh, 0 to 30 CW which is a column of water so inches in water is what that represents so 27.7 on this gauge here which is way over here is about one psi pounds per square inch so I'm gonna try this on the air mattress and see how that works okay I wanted to explain something here I had a pretty a slow air leak uh, even with this and I suspect the threads through here were uh, causing the leak and it occurred on both sides too so I was pretty consistent doing that so what I did this time for the uh, Schrader valve that has the threads is I used that uh, Teflon tape. You can kind of see it in there. I wrapped it quite a few times trying to get it smooth. Probably 10 to 15 uh, wraps there. So anyway, once I did that, you can kind of see it there. That did the seal and now this doesn't. And I use soap bubbles just to see and you know confirm that the leak is gone. So anyway, I did have a leak, slow leak, and it kind of flattened the bed in the morning. but. This took care of it using this Teflon tape and then I put the clamp on. Just wanted to share that. Okay, I got the new gauge on just to see where we're at in uh, inches of water here in a column CW. And when I get down here, looking at this gauge here, now you have to have somebody on the bed to get a reading at all. When I, If you don't have anybody on the bed, it uh, doesn't read at all, I guess. So anyway, I'm getting about eight inches of water here, and that's the setting uh, we like to use here at on this side of the bed. So I'm going to have the person now roll over to the other side, and you'll see it moving around. And well, looks like we got about an inch of uh, uh, of water there. Did read a little bit here now. So anyway. Now if you want to head, go ahead and roll back onto the, uh, you can see it going up, bouncing around. And then as you stable out, there it is, back to 8 inches of water. Okay, I just wanted to share that, and that this gauge did work. And now we know about 8 is where we, on this side of the bed, likes to be. And thanks for watching.